insiders are people who have inside knowledge of the business, mostly as a result of being employed by the organization as staff or managers. There are also contractors, consultants, advisors, and other service suppliers, temporary staff including agency people, student interns, and other stakeholders such as the organization's owners. They are inside the organization in the sense that they are trusted members of the community with ready access to corporate assets, including information. Many can physically access the premises and use of its IT systems. Whereas most insiders are working hard in the organization's best interests, some put their own personal interests above their obligations to the organization. Those few potentially harmful insiders are the subject of this video. It's not all about deliberate acts by malicious people. Insider threats include naive, careless, and incompetent workers who cause problems by accident. The risks escalate in the case of managers and specialists, whose inadvertent errors of judgment can have dramatic, perhaps even strategic, impacts. More significant insider threats are fraudsters, who do their best to appear normal and honest, while quietly stealing and exploiting corporate assets making fraud difficult even to identify. Frauds may be relatively minor, such as someone fiddling their expenses, but again, can be catastrophic. Rogue trader Nick Leeson's spectacular frauds brought Barings Bank to bankruptcy. For years, Leeson dealt in highly leveraged, high-risk trades, sometimes secretly using customer funds on his own account. So long as his legitimate trades remained profitable, he was given plenty of latitude and earned massive bonuses. He successfully concealed his illicit activities from both senior managers and from the auditors sent to investigate his exceptional record until things got completely out of hand. Unable to recover his losses from bad trades, he repeatedly upped the stakes to the point that his desperation became obvious to the market. Although Leeson was eventually caught and sent to prison, the UK's oldest merchant bank had been ruined. Perhaps the most threatening insiders are well-placed industrial spies, moles, and saboteurs, actively recruited or coerced by third parties. Their task may be to obtain valuable information for government agencies, steal trade secrets for unethical competitors, lure good people away, or perhaps sabotage production from within, exploiting their privileged positions. Some are self-motivated, living the high life or may be disgruntled at the organization as a result of some perceived wrongdoing. Others labor under severe personal pressure to fund their expensive habits, desperate to repay their private debts. Why do insiders do it? According to the FBI, there are lots of reasons, including greed or financial need, unhappiness at work, allegiance to another company or another country, vulnerability to blackmail, the promise of a better job, and drug or alcohol abuse. That mention of personal issues suggests one way to address insider threats. Management should be alert to the problems that might lead an insider to cause trouble. It is part of oversight, supervision, direction, and motivation of workers. Workers in general can be encouraged to report issues, including personal concerns and suspicions about fellow workers and managers. A classic fraud indicator, for instance, is someone living beyond their means buying luxuries that their peers on similar wages cannot afford. Their wealth may be as well concealed as their illicit activities, however. Fraudsters, spies, and moles lead double lives, constantly on edge and cautious about revealing their true nature. But there are many reasons why someone might be nervous and cautious about revealing personal matters. Some of us are simply shy. Policies and procedures coupled with awareness and training are important controls. Processes for verifying and auditing various logs and records generated by the business are a vital part of governance, oversight, and information security. The checks are partly about confirming that the policies and procedures are being followed correctly and partly about identifying issues. Little inconsistencies and irregularities may indicate concerns worth exploring in more depth. Take them as indicators or warning signs. There are other ways to address insider threats, too such as pre-employment screening and background checks. A simple but valuable control is to confirm a new worker's true identity with their passport, government-issued photo ID, or similar. Credit checks, criminal history checks, taking up employment references, and verifying claimed qualifications are worthwhile.
especially for recruitment into trusted positions, although national laws may limit the options. Further controls are applicable during the course of employment, particularly when someone is being promoted to senior levels or if irregularities and concerns come to light. Renewing the credit check, for instance, may reveal that the person has slipped deeply into debt. An employee's extreme focus on pay and bonuses may be another clue as to their true motivation. Investigating suspicious insider activities and frauds is something best left to suitable experts, especially if there is a possibility of disciplinary action or prosecution. Speaking of which, enforcement of the organization's rules, plus laws and regulations, involves both encouraging compliance and penalizing noncompliance. The possibility of disciplinary or legal action deters insiders and outsiders from exploiting the organization, especially if management is proactive. If insiders spot opportunities and think nobody will notice or care if they take advantage, they are more likely to take the chance. Having seen this video, here are some key points to bear in mind. Learn to recognize insider threats. Watch out for the signs of trouble, such as the personal issues noted by the FBI. Unhappy workers are not merely less productive. They may actively undermine or harm the organization. The FBI's advice is worth studying. Emphasize compliance with policies and procedures. They incorporate important controls designed to deter, prevent, detect, or respond to insider threats and other concerns. They also, by the way, generate evidence proving that workers have acted properly and ethically, doing the right things and doing things right. There's more to oversight and record-keeping than Big Brother. Leading by example, in other words, your own proactive and deliberate compliance, sends a strong message to staff. Be vigilant for potential insider threats. Some individuals are not 100% aligned with the organization's objectives all the time for all sorts of reasons. Identifying and dealing with personnel issues early, before it's too late, prevents them turning into resentment, anger, and perhaps insider incidents. Share your concerns discreetly, and if necessary, get help from senior colleagues or HR. Maybe you are not the only one to have concerns about someone's behavior, record, or trustworthiness. Maybe you have caught it in time to save the day.